Hello you lot, James from App Spy here. I'm playing Tiny Space Adventure, not to be confused with Little Big Adventure, or indeed Little Big Planet. Just started playing it. It is a point and click adventure game in which you take control of this little spaceman guy uh, who's exploring a new planet and I presume you're going to have to oh, here, get through a series of corridors in order to reach the end. Oh, I've already walked headfirst into a laser. Didn't see that one coming. Should have waited a few seconds. First thing to say, nice little sort of poster art presentation. Very simple, very nice. Bold colors and whatnot. I'm just gonna wait for these lasers to pass and hop in between the gaps as they blast down. Oh, look, there's an alien. A green alien, I see him. Yeah, oh, he's popping up elsewhere. Maybe I have to tap him. No, I don't, I just watch. Quick, leg it, leg it for the exit. Oh, I got that space bunny, because obviously bunnies in space. I'm gonna hop through this door and presumably come out of another one. Up top there, that's fine. Wait for the lasers again. Leg it. Don't know if I can. I could probably make two lasers in one go there. I don't need to wait. Let's see if I can hightail it to the end. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Yes. There it is. Straighten the door. Let's come out in the middle one. Leg it. What's all this? Oh, skull and crossbone stuff here, though. I don't like the look of this. It looks like when I walk onto there, that these lasers are suddenly going to go off without warning. Mm, let's go into those middle ones. Hello. Oh, I got frazzled. Oh, nightmare. I shouldn't have done that. Clearly not supposed to press the buttons after all. Ah, threw me all the way back to the beginning. Ooh, brutal. All right, then. Still, I can leg it through them a little bit quicker this time around. Go on, get out. So this just appeared on the App Store as of today, I think. Go on, go on, go on. There we are. And seems charming enough. Nothing too complicated at the moment. I'm tempted just to run straight through this next bit without pressing any of the buttons. But I assume I have to press something? I don't know. This is all well dodgy. Okay, I press nothing. Oh, I see. One of those is going to have to turn it on. Let's try that one. Yeah. So that was pure trial and error then. There's no way I could have known that. I had to just press one of the buttons and hope for the best. Then remember it for next time. Sort of old-fashioned gameplay, I suppose, but no, it's, it's all right, whatever. Several piles, which should I take? Uh, whichever one is quickest and looks awesome. Oh, okay, loads of doors now. Crikey. Uh, right, let's go for the, this one over here, because you always go for the door you shouldn't necessarily automatically go for first. So ignore the first one and move to the next one. Um, what's this red thing? I, I did something. I turned the laser off, maybe. That's something I should do. That's good. All right. Let's go here. I oh, know that's where I went in before. Whoops. In that case, let's go to this one. Where does that take me? It takes me there. I scared some pigeons. Fantastico. Let's go here, because that one's a bit concealed. That one takes me out there. Hey, and straight to the end. That wasn't too bad, actually. Although it did feel like one of those silly sketches you see in Scooby-Doo, where everyone runs from side to side and out different doors and stuff. Ah, robots! What game isn't made better by the appearance of small robots? I can see you hiding behind the thing there. There he is. Alright, let's push this button. That gets rid of that laser. I'm going to go up and push this rock. I assume I can push it. Can I? Oh, no. I can't push that rock. Fine. I'll just go through the door. And emerge here. Quick, push the button. Push it. Did I just activate or deactivate something there? Oh, oh, he turned around and saw me. Instantaneous laser beamy death. Oh dear, right. Something to watch out for there. So, go through that door. Quick, while he's looking the other way. Turn the light on. Boop. Run to the other exit. Get out. Nice. Okay, move over here. And sneak out. Where does that take me? Oh, damn. He's sleeping. Quick, quick, quick. While he's still sleeping. Can I I can push this rock? That knocks it, but not quite enough. Oh. Hmm. Okay. There's another rock up here, I see. Let's go back up there. Maybe I can push this one. Can I push it? No? I can. There you go. Roll it down there. Hey! Now I can make it across. Fantastic. Alright, in that case. I forget which door I should go through now. I haven't been paying attention. That looks like the ticket. Get down there and then... Oh, no. 
That's not the ticket. Let's go through here and come back out the top left. That'll kick me out there. Quick, before he turns around. Brilliant. Now I can leg it down here. Go through here. And I can't go through it because there's a laser beam on. Now, presumably, I have to go and press that button again. And that will reactivate the other laser and deactivate that one, maybe. See, that activates that laser, which isn't good. Let's go to this button here quickly before he turns around. Go. What a result. Down to the bottom and... Away to the exit. Fantastic. Okay, it's kind of cute. It's a simple idea. It's presented well enough and uh, the controls are responsive despite the size of the screen I'm playing on an iPod and it could be considered quite small uh, it seems to be sort of behaving itself here are some levers in which I'm deactivating force fields let's pop through here see where I emerge can't get past there so let's go through the other door instead it's got that sort of slow jazzy bass line walking bass which makes it seem like a kind of film noir or puzzle game uh, which is cute. Let's go up here. I can get that now. Push a rock. Brilliant. That's allowed me to get over that little gap. Let's go over the gap. Let's hit that. Uh, whoops. Let's hit that. That's deactivated. The laser beam in the top right. Move down to get this switch. Ooh, that's opened up a whole extra door down the bottom there. Which is exciting. So you've really got to remember where you've been. It's like plotting an invisible like line as you travel round and round in circles. Uh, and clearly I haven't remembered where I was there. Oh, look. That's good. I did mean to do that. Awesome. Okay. So yeah, it's available right now on iPhone and iPad. 69p or 99 cents. Tiny Space Adventure. Go and fill your boots. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. This has been James with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.